Berlick, and I thank all the senators for their contributions. And it was a tour of the country, and it started in Ranala Village, which is that exotic, far distant destination where Senator McToole encourages us all to rethink um, how things are, how we do things. And I think he's right. It is a reset moment and, and a moment to reconsider what we're doing and what we might do next. Um, I, I would argue with him that I think what may come next is the villages of Ruski or Strokestown, town of Strokestown, which he would know. Um, Ruski, particularly. Ruski particularly well. Um, that this is a chance for them to be revived. I would stick to the suggestion. You, you seem to indicate, you know, kind of, well, maybe we didn't need, or people don't want to live in villages or in, or in towns. I, and I would ask him to rethink that because there is huge benefit um, in, in being able to live within walking distance of one's local pub, our school, our church, our, uh, and, and those villages and towns we have right across this country, those 19th century market towns particularly, have incredible architecture, are, are, are underused now. And we have a lot of, of, of gaps and, and kind of uh, boarded up front high street kind of premises. And we have a real question as we rethink, do we let them just fall down and the, and the villages and towns go? Or do we bring life back into them and create these really vibrant, uh, thriving, uh, rural, urban communities. And, and I would argue that latter is, is what will work best for a whole variety of reasons. Um, great sense of community, uh, better use of existing resources, uh, lower carbon. You can go for a drink at night without having to worry about being breathless on the way home. And, and it just, I, I could go on. And I think that is a real fundamental question because with the reality of what's happening still right across the country is we're still kind of not building in the centre, or, or maybe i put it another way. Those places, and I take my Cork County Council as an example, Cork has done this very well, better than other counties. Sometimes I think because they have the scale, they had the architects and the planners, and they really thought about it. And I would say, if you look at what's happening in Cork, and I, maybe I'm biased because of my own roots, but if you look at the likes of Clannacilty, Skibbereen, Bantry, and I could go on, that concentration on the quality of the town and village uh, is actually seeing a revival and, and real success. And, and that's where people do want to go. So uh, I would absolutely take his, his uh, point about uh, uh, rethinking. And I would always be open to new thinking. But I, I, do, I do believe there's a particular opportunity, that came, uh, opportunity in this country to really smart, what the government policy is, town centre first. And, and, I, and I'd stand up for that and I'll happily debate it at length. In relation to a whole range of other different contributions, uh, uh, with Senator Cummins and, um, and Senator Hearn, I, I will meet with the, with the kind of representatives from Tipperary. Was, and again, I'm going slightly back to roots. I met with a, a group from Tipperary Town because that's close to my own Rhine roots. Uh, but, but that wasn't to disrespect the other populations and, 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 and people along that route. So I said in the Dáil yesterday that, yes, certainly, I'd very happily meet with the Rochdiffs representatives and council representatives in, in regard to the N24. And Senator Dooley, I think, was asking about the scooters legislation. It is due to be introduced as part of miscellaneous provisions bill. Now, it'll have to get into the Oireachtas Committee first for pre-legislative scrutiny. Well, it has to be published first, has to get into pre-legislative scrutiny. We all know that our, our committees are kind of clogged, uh, but, but subject to that being done, uh, it will be in this House, and I think it will make a, a useful contribution. Senator McMahon, uh, the issue about, or he cited uh, that the innovative projects like bike sharing schemes might not just apply in cities, and I, this backs up what I am saying. Town centre first, well, we'll, we'll let supplies to towns like Dundalk or Drahad uh, as our town centre's first kind of strategy. Um, Senator Moyne and, uh, and Senator Curry both raised the issue of Phoenix Park, and I know it's a particularly sensitive issue at the moment and complex because there are, as you said, the, people, the park is both for those who go to it and use it as a, and those who go through it. Uh, how do we get that balance right? And this is a real challenge. Um, we are going to have to, uh, as Senator Castle said, we're going to have to move away from the rat race where it's just all of us stuck in our cars clogging up the streets, that's not working. So reducing the demand for that true traffic would be, in my mind, a very beneficial outcome if we can out of this, this particular time. But, but I would see to their local knowledge in, 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 in what's the best way of getting that balance right. 
uh, uh, Senator Niall O'Donnell, I, I, uh, that high-speed rail uh, project is going to be part now of a much wider review, rail review for the whole country. It's not just Dublin, Belfast, Cork. Uh, we agreed to extend it to Derry to look at, uh, at what the potential is there. Uh, and in my mind, it's an opportunity which a number of senators uh, have raised in terms of the likes of the, the Western Rail Corridor, or indeed, it's not just the N24 we need to look at. We need to look at what are we doing with the rail line from Waterford, uh, from Wexford to Waterford, to, to Carrick, and Shore, Clanmel, uh, Care, Tipperary Town, Banshee, to Banshee, Tipperary Town, and upwards. What are we going to do with all these? Like, like it's not just 19th century market towns we have a legacy of. We have a legacy of being the best rail builders in the world. And we have strands of rail line left, which we're not using in effect. You know, you, no one really uses it because it's not being designed to be used at the moment. It's still there though. And I think just giving up on those assets would be a real, a, a real question uh, as to whether that makes sense. But anyway, so the, the Dublin Belfast will be part of that wider rail review, which will take place this year. Um, Senator Byrne was asked to ask the question about uh, uh, Russell Airport. Uh, in my mind, that is going to be radically enhanced. Uh, I was speaking about it in the Dáil yesterday again. Uh, and yes, we will have, we'll have to invest in, in better road access to the port. And yes, it can also, I believe, be part of a, uh, a significant part of the, our developing our wind, offshore wind industry. So I think the, the recent revival and, and growth in Russell Airport, we're only at the start of that. Um, Central Kine, in terms of Galway, there are uh, really significant uh, projects in Galway. We're going to face very significant choices in terms of what we prioritise and the timelines around in terms of delivering various projects. But Galway, I, t I suppose I hate to say this, but I think we've got the biggest problem in Galway because our transport and our planning system, that's when things go awry, when we don't put planning and transport together, where you know, the likes of Galway, we have this huge pattern of transport from one side of the city to the other. Uh, and. Uh, um, uh, real difficulties uh, in terms of a really congested city. Um, it, it, the key to this is not just the transport infrastructure, it's putting the public transport infrastructure in first, in my mind, and putting the housing beside that, this, and the, this 15 minute town or city concept, so everything's within kind of access, uh, so that we reduce our overall volume of traffic, so we reduce congestion. So it's, it's planning and transport that need to go together. Only about half a minute. I will finish there with two contributions, yeah, God Almighty, and I hope don't, don't do respect to anyone else no, no. for leaving out. I'll finish with Senator Burke, because um, I was a family friend of the Ryans, Jim Ryan, who was behind the building of Knock Airport in the first place. I remember himself, and obviously Monsignor Horan were, were centrally involved. And I remember Jim Ryan, who'd returned immigrant from Australia, uh, talking up the prospects of Knock Airport, and all, we all thought at the time he was mad. And I remember him talking, we'd have flights coming on and out every day and all, and everyone was nodding at him, Jim, and saying, that that's right, Jim. And, and God, he was right in the end. And it just shows, if you think big, sort of sense of vision, sense of what's uh, possible. Uh, even That was only 30, 25, 30 years ago, but in 25 years, what can change? And I think maybe if we think forward, thinking in a new way, uh, we can see a revival of the West of Ireland particularly It'll be around sustainability. It'll be the west of Ireland being green. Uh, I think that's where we'll have real advantage. That's the way the world is going. We might lead it in that direction ourselves.